some young players for Washington, right? So it's it's going to be their ups and downs, but these, these freshmen and sophomores are playing really well. Look at the tip, Daniels and Osborne. No surprise as Daniels starts things off for the Huskies. A little bit of a surprise with Osborne starting on Daniels. Yes. Briggs, first shot coming up. Chloe Briggs, true freshman. And then Charisma Osborne trying to answer back. Basket's no good. A lot of stuff runs through that post player, and so having a good defender on her is really going to be a difference maker. Well, and Charisma Osborne is indeed a great defender. Next basket, basket doesn't go, and Kiki Rice there to pick it up. I think we're going to see a lot of interesting matchups today. Things have changed and certainly required some quick adjustments from Washington once they discovered that Betts was not going to be in. Making it look just so easy, dropping it off to Schwartz underneath has Kiki Rice on her Ladine. Well moved, nice move by Ladine getting around Osborne. Well, when you see to start, there's so much open space in that paint. All you see is just blue, and that really is because you don't have that low, true back to the basket five down there. Foul in the shooter. And she, if she's able to get it off, it has a really good chance of going in. Again, using the screen from Lena Sontag. Just trying to recover Bumpser, but London had already let it fly. Four point play. Just the finishes not there for Washington, 0 for 5. Yeah, UCLA finishing some breaks with UW missing some layups. Dubrich. Nice take. Nice use of her body. Sellers dumps it inside to delay it. Daniels hesitation move. And underneath. Pass leading a little bit too much. Here's Daniels again. There's the kick. Keep her, push her as far under as possible. Hawkes for three. No good. Daniels comes up with the rebound. Briggs looking around. Who she got? Over the top to Daniels again. And a beautiful fish. Meanwhile, shot clock down to five. Christine Iwala enters the game. Get up and down a couple times first, but they go right into her. Just it, it makes it a little bit hard to hit your shots when you're coming in cold off the bench. So hopefully they let her kind of get warm. All right, Iwala, to your point, it, her job right now is to work on Daniels, not let Daniels get so close to the cups. And really grab rebounds. And absolutely grab rebounds. They're going to be boxing out. And if it's a long rebound, the guard is going to be the one that winds up coming up with it. Daniels, even though they're not necessarily scoring on every play, Daniels is really quarterbacking this offense. Up through the trees, London Jones and Christine Iwala. Foul is on Sellers. She's really active, hands and feet, but I think offensively, just slowing her mind down when she, you know, if you're a basketball player, you want to put some points on the board, too. Tipped by Kiki Rice. Rice looking to absorb and implement the scout like they're a fifth-year senior. Schwartz. There's a perfect example of the following. Well, and that's what made her so successful last year as a freshman, just that energy, that relentlessness, and she's carrying it over into her sophomore season. It's yielding results. Daniels on Sontag. Oh. They have three people crashing the offensive boards. Well, for Washington, they don't want to give up offensive rebounds, so they're going to be blocking out. Two seconds remaining on the clock. Hawkes catch and shoot. And start getting a little bit more out of their offense. Well, I think the same could be said for the Huskies, certainly. They want to see more. They've done a great job passionately in terms of defending the ball. I love the team. Kind of energy. Going around Daniels. 
I mean, that's just unlucky. It's a great shot. But El Ladine again. Her mark, and it's all on the offensive rebound. She's just coming in, flying in, grabbing those, taking advantage of no one boxing her out, and just really putting together some offense. Sontag. One of the best defenders on the team, body inside as well. Delaya Daniels has Muse in front of her, able to finish. Mid Osborne, no good. And again, it's Muse doing a great job. Here's her, here's your job. Rebound, and she's doing the work. Well, and I love to see her taking advantage of her opportunity. When you get in, you've got to get in there and produce because you never know when the next time is that you'll have that opportunity. That's right. By Muse, and it's really the reason that she's shooting these two free throws. Amanda Muse has not played, and there'll be another opportunity that comes soon. Great job by her. Well, I think that's the toughest thing about being a freshman on the number two team in the country, right? You have to come in, and there's people ahead of you that have earned their stripes and really have earned their minutes. So when you get in, you have to make the most of that time that you're allowed. Everyone's overplaying in the passing lanes. That's going to be open all day. They just have to make the layup. Hawk has passion to try to pick that up. Follow it up, though. Give and go. Taking advantage of their mismatches. Dugalich, no good. Daniels, no second chances. Play great defense in transition. Nice job. The respect the Huskies have for Hawkhead surrounding her. Ooh. Her hitting the shot and running back in transition. Prisma Osborne has room. Just right, those second chances. We've seen Ladine do it several times. Exactly. She already has three offensive re rebounds in this game. Ladine or Muse? Did you Ladine. Say? Ladine. Both, actually. Iwala with Daniels on her. That's a beautiful finish by Christine. So Iwala wisely just takes it right at her. And that was exactly my thought on uh, Daniels, too. She has one foul. It was a, that was a lot of control, emotional control. Well, and she's a junior, so she, she knows how to play, I think, at this point and stay in the game and be that person that the, her team needs. You don't need a foul. You need her to stay in the game and just be solid. Kiki Rice, little side spin coming off of that shot. Sellers, again, grabs. And Ladine finished. Sellers is... Into Dugalich, Daniels taking some blows and holding steady. The defense that Delia Daniels is laying on the Bruins inside has been impactful. Well, and she's really doing a nice job of just staying disciplined. And then finishes. You're right, she's just going to play for that last shot. As they should, Huskies leading by one. Five seconds left in the first half. You're going to leave Osborne all alone, and she's going to make it. Second half underway. And we'll see if we've seen a change in communication for UCLA. That was Corey Close's message. Well, and that's a huge one against a Washington team that moves as much as they do. Second chance opportunity for the Bruins after Grisma Osborne came up short in that layup. Again, due to the defense. I think Sontag coming out, getting offensive rebound. A third opportunity. And London Jones going to come, come again, no foul. And I think if you're Corey Close, you're fine with that shot. London Jones up against a taller player. But just the fact that they got three offensive rebounds on that play is huge. Schwartz feeds in to Daniels. And that's one of those opportunities I'm talking about. Delia Daniels got it underneath and then just didn't finish. There's a finish by Hawkes. And great recognition by Hawkes. She is one of those tweeners. She can play on the perimeter, but she can also, she has a really good post game. So recognizing she had Hannah Steins down in the post, taking advantage. Hawkes had four rebounds, but no points. That was her first bucket of this game. Well, and she got the start, but because of foul trouble, she had to sit a lot in that first half. 
Three beautifully done by El Ladine. And those are shots for Washington. If those start to fall, they can start to get into a rhythm. Charisma Osborne underneath. Just not the night for either of these teams shooting. It really isn't there. It's going to be a really low-scoring game with a lot of great defense. Cameron Brown sees open space. Dugalich puts it back. Nice job by Dugalich just kind of getting, knocking the lid off of the basket on this end. And coming right back at you. Osborne. Looked like it was lined up well. Cam Brown going after it. That was a beautiful thread of the needle. Four for five, so we'll see if the second half is different. Making the back half again. UCLA, or that Washington is playing together. They've got four players who play for the same club and those freshmen and sophomores. Oh, a body too. I think I heard a collective sigh from all of the Washington Husky Nation yeah. on that play. They really wanted, probably thought it was all ball. I think she maybe got a little bit of London Jones's head with her body potentially, but good Jones, effort. Jones is going to make her pay from the line right now. For sure. You mentioned all of the players that played for the same club team. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you've got Chloe Briggs, Hannah Steins, um, Ella Dean, and Shayla Gilmer on the bench. And even last year, uh, Haley Van Dyke played for that same club team, Cal Storm. And I think that makes a huge difference. They come in, they may be eight freshmen and sophomores, but the majority of them have played together. All the other four that are on the floor are really quick to come. Give them a high five, pat on the back, or a, a word of encouragement. Again, UCLA forced to be around the perimeter. It's great defense. Schwartz and Daniels close it out in front, and then Bruins lose the ball. Yeah, I think that that's, you know, it's something. There's not a lot you can do about that if the if the shots aren't falling, except just kind of lock in and maybe take a little bit more more time on your shot. It might be due to the frantic pace that they kind of have to play defensively. They're moving, moving, moving because of uh, Washington's offense. So maybe just settling down when they're on offense is uh, a little bit more of a test. I mean, Washington has made them uncomfortable. That's what it looks like. Briggs, of course. She's done a lot of defensive work, but that's the first made bucket for Briggs today. Yeah, and she shot a couple. They just weren't falling for her, but she's known to put the ball in the basket. Both teams have three made threes. Kiki Rice not going to allow a second opportunity. Zontak all alone. Schwartz comes in on her. The speed of Kiki, her first bucket of the game. She's doing all the other things, right? Rebounding and assists. They may, this may be one of the days where they need her to score. I think that's definitely what they need from her. Especially if people's shots aren't falling from the outside. Kiki Ray's very good at getting to the basket. That's kind of what she's known for, right? Right when we say, oh, UCLA needs a basket, UCLA needs a basket. Up steps London Jones for a big three. That is Jones's first made three. It's now a 7-0 run for the Bruins over the last minute plus. Jones again, Ladine, nice and tight on her. Make sure that she's not going to take a shot, or at least an uncontested shot. Sellers doing her best for Charisma Osborne. Osborne gets away from her. UCLA looking a lot more comfortable in this second half, taking their time. Their screens are more deliberate. Their shots are more online, and they're getting a lot more offensive production.
Beautiful by Ladine. Walk. Ladine hitting the big bucket on the offensive trip, coming down with a big block defensively, just making things happen. Osborne box out and rebound. And one. Amazing athletic play. You see her grab the rebound, push it in transition. They pick her up, but just that contact. She's going to her right. She's very strong, finishing that direction. Savia Sellers just with the bump. And Charisma Osborne with the finish. I didn't want to say it before she shot it, but UCLA has been shooting really well from the line tonight. And I think that's an advantage with Washington not really capitalizing on their opportunities. UCLA definitely has. Yeah, for sure. Uh, UCLA, 87% from the line tonight. Not a lot, as you said, of opportunities there, but 50% for Washington. And there's the Bruins on a 12-2 run. Broken there over the last three minutes. We were talking earlier. Chloe brings a superpower is that she's fearless. And she just showed that she would take it right at the bigger doodle leads for UCLA. It's another one for Osborne and the finish. Ruth Hannah Steins picks up this foul. I love how Charisma Osborne has just taken things into her hands over the last few possessions. Just really providing UCLA that offense. I think it's important for UCLA to continue to do the things that they're having su success with on the defensive end. They're chasing Washington off the free throw line or off the three point line, but then they're also limiting those, those point, paint point opportunities. Yeah, but for Washington, what's important for them right now? Continue to stay aggressive and look for their shot. It, they've had a tendency to pick up their dribble in an opportunity like this where she gets stuck and then she doesn't have that opportunity with the shot clock running down. Shot clock is at six. Into Daniels. Charisma Osborne truly took one for the team. I like what Washington was trying to do on that play. Getting it into Daniels is what they had success with in the first half. Final 30 seconds of the first of the third quarter. Dugalich trying to turn and love to delay Daniels defense on her. Dugalich just outlasts her. Nice reach. Great use of her pivot foot and that offhand to create space. UCLA, after a long scoring drop before, has now made seven of their last nine. One second remaining. I think it got lucky. Is it good? Washington Huskies, they've got a lot of time. They can get back in this game once if they get, start getting shots to fall. Keep staying fluid with their offense and doing the little things that they did at the beginning of this game, like crashing the offensive rebounds, getting to the 50-50 balls, and really having getting those passion plays. Energy and communication of the Huskies. It's like they're in it and Dougal each block and a little flex. I agree, and they need to get a good shot here, not one that's rushed. London Jones, pickpocket. That's the magic that is London Jones. Ten points for her. I just love that she's added that defensive intensity to her game this year. It really makes such a big difference and a compliment to her three-point shooting. And she's getting her hands on all kinds of loose balls. And so you may want to just get it to someone different so that you avoid a turnover. I mean, if you don't know London Jones, I'm pretty sure that her favorite thing to do is ruin somebody's day in terms of, you know, that ball in here. And so when she gets in a defensive group, seriously, don't, don't you think? No, nope. seriously. And it's, it's a game of momentum. Good finish. Much time off the clock as they possibly can. Hawkes lines it up. No good. Nice rebound again. Hannah Steins. The Huskies playing with great intensity. There's the finish. Uh, UCLA able to kind of to come above Washington with the paint points, but over the last couple of possessions, UW able to feed Delea Daniels and get some points in the paint.
Eight seconds on the clock. Kiki Rice has to step out and away. No problem for her. I like that she used a little bit more of her legs on that play. A lot of shots for everyone have been short. So for her, for her to use that step back but really dig into that base in order to make that shot fall is really what made the difference. They're getting it inside again to Delea Daniels. There's two seconds on the clock. Both of these. A little bit more umph. They're facing and battling a really strong UCLA squad. And the pace has been relentless. What a pass from Osborne into Iwala. She got it really quickly, but able to calm down and finish and see the ball go in the basket. They've got to continue to feed Delea Daniels. I think that, you know, this team, you can clearly tell they have a lot of heart. They're, it's not a motivational yes, thing at this at point. All. It's an X's and O's. And what I'd love to see is them getting Delea Daniels over on the right block so that she can go to her strong side and potentially get an and one. Shooting hasn't been kind to either team. Uh, both teams shooting around 30% for the game. Ripping the rebound down, and then Zontag rips it from Ladine. London, heartbreaker. Now there was contact away from the ball. Bodies flying, so the officials are going to take a moment. Nice take to the basket, and just the hands by Lena Sontag. Finding London Jones, and when she's open on the wing, she's going to let it fly. But you can see from this angle, Siwala and Delea Daniels getting tangled up. Ari Long in now for the Huskies, number 13 in purple. No basket. Comes Gilmer, excuse me, comes back in. Or comes in for the first time, I should say. Osborne now going to make it rain. Shot clock is at five. Shot's got to go. Does Stein see the clock? She does. She wanted to take a closer look at it. And it's been a 10-0 run over the last minute 45 for UCLA. All alone, Hawk has inside. Great vision to in the open player. Great vision, but great poise. Kiki Rice wisely pulls it out. Osborne comes out, gets the ball. That they will need. Nice bucket. Down to the final buzzer. Hawkeyes looking at that rim again. Gilmer doing great stuff, actually, coming in at this point. Rebound and finish. That's Tegan Brown. Off of a Gilmer rebound. Gilmer rebound and a Savia Sellers pass yep. up the court. So these young, got a sophomore and two freshmen involved on that play. Yeah, eight sophomores and freshmen on the Huskies roster. It tells you what this team is going to look like in a couple of years. Very talented. For UCLA with Lauren Betts. Not available to play today. We got to see a, a number of other people, including Muse and Iwala. What were your impressions? I think that the post crew and just the UCLA Bruins in general rose to the challenge that Corey Close gave them of being more aggressive on the offensive and defensive rebounds. You, you see Angela Dugalich really being the one to kind of answer the call in the best way, and she had... Uh, 10 rebounds already at half and so I think it's an opportunity for all these post players to get a little bit more minutes but really show what they can do on the offensive and defensive end in the end again it was UCLA's rebounding 50 to 37 as they contain in and a UCLA with win over Washington Starting their weekend off of the W. Well, and I think you, you really need to defend home court.